Okay, here we are. We're doing kidneys one lesson. I think there's going to be about three kidney lessons. This one's really about gross anatomy. And if you know gross anatomy is another name for macroscopic anatomy. What you can see with the naked eye. And I'm going to do the in situ location first. Now in situ means as it occurs in the living animal. Okay, so let's get some diagrams down. Here's a nice one. It's of a dog. You could pause it and look at all the internal anatomy. The one thing it doesn't show is the diaphragm that would separate the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. I'll maybe put it in here. Look it up where it says stomach. See the red? You know the lungs and the heart are in the thoracic cavity. So there's got to be some kind of dividing line here because the liver is in the abdominal cavity. But the point is the kidney. Now we're seeing the left side of the animal, right? If this is cranial, this is caudal. Hopefully you realize this is the left side of the animal. And we're only seeing one of the two kidneys, but they're showing a tube, which we're going to call ureter later. Go back to the bladder. So this is not a bad gross anatomy sign. I'm just trying to get my um, words here to show. But this is the inside to location in the dog showing the left side okay so i'm going to get rid of that one or move it out of the way probably not get it rid of it and then here's one somebody's drawn a cat and i'm going to get it up there and they're talking about renal failure in the cat but i can still use this diagram to show the normal lumbar location of the kidneys and the ureters that go back down to the bladder and then I believe this is showing a male cat it's not labeled penis but I think the penis is right there so we have ureters moving urine by peristalsis by the way into the bladder and the bladder its size is always determined by how much urine is in it and then when there is urination the urine flows out the penis in this case. And finally, just another diagram. The more the better, right? The more diagrams, the better. I'll enlarge this a little bit. And we're showing that there are two kidneys in the lumbar region. And this diagram is good because, of course, this is cranial. And notice the kidneys are not exactly side by side. There's usually one more cranial than the other for whatever reason and then here's the right spelling for ureter and ureters there's two of them and then they go to the bladder and that's pretty good at, to depict how they attach to the bladder they never come like right into here they're more the ureters connect closer to the neck of the bladder it's called and this is a female dog so the Urether, urethra, sorry, not urether, urethra ends up coming into the ventral aspect of the vagina, urethra. Okay, very good. So now we're ready to talk about what the kidneys really look like. This happens to be a feline kidney. I'll enlarge it a little bit. Hopefully it won't get too fuzzy. It shows us the shape. The shape is normal for the cat, which is the typical kidney bean shape, kidney shape. This kidney is abnormal in the fact that it's got blood clots in it, and they, they're depicted by the arrows. So it shows the normal kidney shape, but it's an abnormal kidney, and we're just looking at shapes now, so that's not bad. And then this is a dog kidney. And you know that ureter is spelled different. Let me get that up here so I can maybe 
you know, put it right there. So the ureter takes urine from the kidney and it goes to the bladder. Then the hilum or hilus sometimes is where everything is connected that leaves the kidney. It's like where the blood vessels and the ureter is connected. So they've got that hilum. Sometimes it's called a hilus. And of course, you've got the renal. Renal means kidney, artery, and vein. Because you've got one coming in and one going out. You've got to have an afferent blood supply and an efferent blood supply. Okay. And this was the dog. So, so far, dog and cat. Their kidneys are typical kidney shaped, kidney bean shaped. Now, when we talk about the horse, the equine kidney, as we're talking about here, you're going to find out that all kidneys don't look the same, don't look like a kidney bean. And what I'm going to depict here is incredible. So this is precious. Here is a photograph of preserved specimen and it's what's called the ventral view. Wow, what does that mean? Well, I'm looking like a bird's eye view of a horse that's laying on its back on a surgery table, let's say. So I've got the ventral view. The horse is in dorsal recumbency. So that means this side is right. This side is left. The animal is laying on its back. So this is a true picture. Shows one heck of a big aorta. This is the left kidney. This is the right kidney. The left kidney doesn't look too off of the kidney shape. But the right kidney definitely is more heart shape. And then you've got these little structures here which are the adrenal glands. Okay, so now that's a terrific figure, and I'm going to draw, or I'm going to bring in another figure where an artist has said, okay, you've got that on the left. I'm going to draw it on the right and then label all the parts. So this drawing over here on the right side of the screen now is somebody's drawing of this exact picture. Take a look at that. That is phenomenal. That's, you can't get any better than that. Now I want to show you that all kidneys are not kidney shape. You know, I know our main focus animals are dog, cat, horse. But I do want to show you the bovine kidney. Just to kind of say, hey, maybe we could fool you. Look at this. I'm not sure if you would guess it would be a kidney. But these are the two kidneys out of one cow. Interesting. It'd be kind of neat little quiz because how many people would guess this image would be a kidney? I'm not sure. Not many, I don't think. Now, you know we always try to bring in some pathophysiology, pathobiology. That means what can go wrong. And so I want to talk about ectopic kidney or kidneys. Eptocic, ectopic, sorry, my tongue is getting twisted here. All these words. Ectopic. Okay, ectopic. Whenever you see that word, it doesn't have to be associated with kidney. So just think of this, ectopic means out of place, out of its normal location, okay? So if an animal has an ectopic kidney, that means one kidney is not in its normal location, as we've shown you in the in situ, in situ pictures before. So this is great. Sometimes ectopic kidneys usually cause no symptoms unless something happens. Okay, so an animal or a person may have an ectopic kidney and may never know it. 
unless there's some radiographs or surgery that surgery that takes place. The problem is sometimes things get bent, like down here, prone to urethral obstruction and infection. So sometimes an ectopic kidney may have more problems on a normal kidney, and then they will be discovered. But the bottom line here is ectopic means out of its normal location. And then if we combine it with kidney, we're saying a kidney that's not in its normal location. Okay, so now we're still talking about pathobiology, pathophysiology, however you want to say it. And now I want to talk about super numery kidneys. Okay, you should realize that supernumerary is a general term, not always attached to kidneys. So let's look at supernumerary. It means having a number greater than normal. So if you're talking about supernumerary kidneys, that must be more than the normal two, right? So what I'm trying to say here is some animals or people are born with more than two kidneys. Neat little concept, which we have a couple figures to depict. Here is an image showing, I believe it's a person, because most of these things are discovered in people, by the way, just because there's more imaging of people, not of animals. So if we're looking at the ventral view, which we probably are, and we are because see that R, that means the right kidney, right? The left side of the screen has the right kidney if we're in dorsal recumbency with a ventral view. This one looks normal, okay, tied to the aorta. Here's another kidney, the left kidney, but then lo and behold, there's another kidney down here, a third kidney that's not totally fully formed, and it even might be attached to the left kidney, but nonetheless, this would be called a supernumerary kidney. That person has two plus some other kidney. Maybe you could say three total. Who knows? Two and a half. Here's another image showing, and I guess I'll decrease the size here so I can get this up here. I believe it is another person because remember this is detected more in people than animals. And here's one kidney. Here's another kidney. It looks a little smaller. But then here's a third kidney. I believe this is the bladder right here. So supernumerary kidneys. More than two kidneys. Animals definitely can have them. If you ever become a surgeon, veterinarian or medical or whatever, when you go into that abdominal cavity, you should be aware that things may not always be totally straight textbook. Okay, now I want to just convince you that the kidneys have a very dense vascular system. And so although this isn't labeled, let's say we are looking at the dorsal view. So in this case, this is the right kidney and this is the right kidney. But the difference is, is that the vascular system has been injected with latex. I'm assuming I might not be correct in the exact injection, but let's say it's injected with latex. And then the kidney tissue has been digested away. So then we see just the vascular system of the kidney. And on the left image here, remember this is going to be the right kidney of the animal, we show the major vessels. And then I think on the right hand image, we're showing all the capillaries. But I mean, definitely the kidney has a lot of blood vessels and capillaries. And finally, as always, I like to give credit to the people who have made these images. 
Um, this is where I got the images from. Unfortunately, I'm sure when websites are changed, some of these URLs will change, but I do want to give a shout out to all those beautiful people writing or drawing these images and taking photos of the images. Thanks a lot. See you at Kidney 2.